Welcome to Drawfee Beans, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. What are we drawing today, Julia? We're drawing a suggestion by Minus Lin Lin. Wait, don't tell me what the suggestion is. I'm scared. Oh. I'm afraid. You oh, already sorry. know what it oh is, Nathan. God. You're doing a bit right yeah, now. Yeah, this, this is, is thematic. Fun. Well, we draw on each other's uh, childhood fears. We're drawing each other's childhood fears. We draw each other's childhood fears. What we were feared of when we were the small. Feared of. We're you know gonna what? make when manifest. We, you know what I'm scared of? What? Remembering who is assigning who a drawing. Jacob, who's yeah, we'll have to Nathan a drawing. That. Nathan's drawing my childhood fear. No one listens to me when I say the order. I do, and I just do not repeat it. At the beginning it. of I every episode. I never listen to you. Uh, that's probably wise, but not in this one case it wasn't wise because now you don't know what's going on and I do. Nathan's going to draw my fear, my childhood fear, this mine. your fear. So we're getting a little you coming in. I feel like a scribble nod. So I've got a very specific <laughs> one, a fear that I had as a child. What's your childhood fear? When I was a child, I had what must have been a night terror. I look like looking back on it. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I was sure that I was awake and that this was happening and that okay. my parents were ignoring my my needs wow. for help. Awful parents. Awful parents. You heard it here. Jacob, Shout out. Jacob's um, terrible parents. But one night, I woke up in the middle of the night and on the wall of the bedroom, there was this shadow man, shadow man. who was walking around shadow the walls man. Shadow man. of the bedroom. And for some reason, I named him Mr. Finkel. <laughs> okay so mr finkel w was he lived in the walls and was a shadow and he the walked one, the boy meets world is mr feeney that's mr feeney yeah. mine was not unrelated to mr feeney didn't look at all like mr feeney so Sounds take like that into Doug account character mr yeah. finkel you're thinking of mr dink it's also not related <laughs> to mr dink or mr feeney those were both lovable <laughs> childhood characters this not was, this was a horrible shadow man that lives in your walls my um my AP econ teacher in high school was named Mr. Hinkle. It's <laughs> was not, it bad? It's not your AP econ teacher, <laughs> Mr. Hinkle. This Mr. one's Hinkle. This one's Mr. Finkel. Mr. Finkel. The shadow man the shadow who lives man. in your walls. So I need to draw the shadow man who lives in your walls, who lives yes. on your walls, in your walls. He's like on the wall and he can't come off the wall. But for some reason in my head, I thought the rules were that if you were touching the wall and he got around to you, he'd get you. Okay. That's how he was going to get you. So he's a shadow man. He's a shadow man. I, I remember he had a silhouette kind of like Candle Jack from Freakazoid. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that looks like. I'm going to look he that up. He had kind of like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, like a, a like a pointy hood-like head. Okay. Oh. And kind of like a oogie boogie face. I was gonna say he's wearing a hat, right? From Nightmare Before Christmas, like okay. he had like the big like oogie boogie face. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, I know, I know, I know oogie boogie face. I just don't know Candle Jack. Oh, Candle Jack is fun. That's I a like fun his design. design. Candle Jack's fun. Mr. Finkel, though, not so much fun. <laughs> not so much fun. In that he was the horrible shadow beast that lived in my walls. I will say the way you describe this is very peak childhood fear. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It sounds like a story. Yeah, your parents don't believe you about it. <laughs> yeah. That's a goosebumps. That's every goosebumps. The other part of the story was I tried to tell my mom that Mr. Finkel was on the walls and she said, paint the walls white. Oh. This must have been part of the dream I was having that I was convinced was real, but she just kept repeating, paint the walls white. And uh, she wouldn't wake up to to help me. So, mm. again, horrible parents. <laughs> my my parents were wonderful. They still are wonderful. <laughs> They're still alive. They're still still doing it. Still still kicking after all these years. I'm gonna give him little elf shoes. Little elf oh, shoes. little pointy elf <laughs> shoes. There he is. He's gonna come get me, but only if I'm touching the walls. Yeah, just you can't touch the walls. He's got to convince me to touch the walls. Were you were you scared to touch the walls at night? I was just scared that if I like fell asleep, maybe like my head would lean up against the wall and then he would come around and get me. And he talked? He didn't talk. He just sort okay. of crept around with a big make smile a on thicker. his face. <laughs> I'm going to make him a little thicker than I originally uh, done. I love this leaping pose. 
He's he's up, he's up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, he's up on there dancing Does around. He have doing a little his butt. Thing. He he could, but he didn't. <laughs> Do we got a booty? <laughs> I, as a kid, I didn't notice whether or not he had a booty. That wasn't my first sort of priority. Now, as an adult, it would be. If I could go back, I'd be yeah. like, "Well, do we got a booty?" You know, maybe it's all right that he's creeping. But as a kid, that didn't really—that wasn't relevant. There's, I was, yeah, concerned about getting devoured. There's absolutely no way I did this in such a way that I could just fill this in and make him a shadow man, right? No, you—it's no. going to come out. It's going to come out of the walls. And- well, you got to close <laughs> yeah. that eyeball if you want the eyeball to stay out. You're going to have to paint the walls white. You're going to have to paint the walls white on this one. So your mom's there too. And she's she's painting the walls white. <laughs> <laughs> she told me to do she's it. She's under that booty. She's like, ooh. <laughs> she's like, ooh, damn. He do okay. have a booty. <laughs> he do got a booty. We're leaving these walls just how they are. And that's it. Paint the walls white or maybe not. <laughs> Look at that booty, though. <laughs> I like her little face. <laughs> well, she's this is, is she, is this she is going really, at the booty? She's painting the walls white. <laughs> booty first. Booty, booty first. <laughs> Looks she, like she's gonna tickle his booty. Yeah, she's gonna tickle. He loves it. <laughs> he loves that. Okay. Now I have a new fear. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and the the shadow man getting together. Mister Finkel. <laughs> Mister Finkel. <laughs> Do not ship. Do not ship. Mr. Finkel with anyone. There. That also gives him power. <laughs> Mr. Finkel is married. Mr. Finkel is married. <laughs> uh, Nathan, you should know that if if you want to do the uh, expand fill, mm-hmm. I think I have it mapped to F4. I think I have it mapped to F5. <laughs> I think I have it mapped to F3. <laughs> Press F5 again. I don't know where it is. Maybe you don't need to do the expand fill. I thought oh, I half a I half a passy did it in the last beans we recorded and I'm sorry. Wow, did how's it feel to be an actual criminal? <laughs> <laughs> a criminal crime doer. Yeah. I forgot to put it back. Yeah. Oh, you didn't oh. you let the shadow into his eye. Paint it white. <laughs> like the wall. Like Paint the, wall. the eye white. Paint the eye white. Um, Can you get, get the, the tip finger. Of that finger. Yeah, get the finger. It's cut off He's where married. his wedding and make ring the is. wedding ring gold. <laughs> make his wedding band gold so no one will ship him. <laughs> People um, have to know that he's married. Yeah. Yeah. Make it gold, Nathan. What do you mean, Nathan? make it gold? Make the this wedding a, band gold. This is a black and white drawing. If people ship him, it will give him power. <laughs> <laughs> With each ship, he grows stronger. This is <laughs> this is not sufficient. Oh goodness! We're doomed. Wow! You've um, doomed us. Did I did I cure you of your fears? No, you've doubled my fears, <laughs> if not tripled them, because of the power you've granted, Mister Finkel, who will come out of the wall and destroy me. Well, maybe you deserve it. Maybe you deserve it. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> don't say maybe you deserve it on the I don't deserve it. I've been eluding him successfully for thirty years. Um someone Wonderful. else. Someone else. It's me. Someone else. I draw you. next. You've tagged me in by yeah. drawing my fear. You, you deserve it. Yeah, do a little tag. Do a little Maybe I deserve it. I see you didn't, but This is a great drawing I did. <laughs> I think it's nice. I don't think it's nice. Did I capture your mom's likeness? Yeah, you did get my mom pretty well drawn. <laughs> How much she loves the shadow booty of Mr. Finkel. Julia. Hi. I'm drawing your greatest childhood fear. Okay. Well, I had many. Um, many uh, too real, too true. But... The funniest one, I think, to me is I was terrified of the shower drain oh. because of an episode of X-Files that my parents were watching in the <laughs> living room, and they told me that I wasn't allowed to watch, but then I did that thing where you're curious, so you, you lean into the hallway, and you see that there's a really spooky thing happening on the television, and the episode was this woman would come out of the shower drain. She was like 
goo. She was like a goo alien and she would travel uh -huh. through pipes. Oh no. And then she would pop out from the back of a shower drain and kill dudes who were taking a shower. Um, but the other, this is a two part fear. I was also, and still am terrified of needles. And so I was convinced that if I put my foot on the drain, cause you would think that if you put your foot on the drain, then you could stop the goo from coming out. Right. right? Goo can't go through foot. But I put if I put my my foot on the drain to keep her out, maybe she could shape shift into a bunch of needles and stab me through my foot. Oh no! So I was terrified of that. So I um, when I would take a shower <laughs> as a kid, I would do this like yoga pose where I would like lean my head back into the water, but like keep my feet as far away from the drain as possible. <laughs> Just wear so shoes so that she couldn't attack my my ankles or my feet. <laughs> So, okay, that was so my fear. That's yeah. a lot to unpack. That is a yeah, lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. Um, okay, so we're gonna do like a, a childhood me has, like has Goliath's pers perspective shot here. Yes, a lot of action in this pose already. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of action in this pose. We're gonna have it going like, like down. Okay, here we go. I know what we're you doing. have to draw the yoga pose that Julia doing. described <laughs> herself but, doing. But this is where she she you know I get maybe God. she hasn't messed up. Maybe she's like she's like about to mess up, so she's got like a foot up. Oh, she was like about to step down on it. Mm. Big um, mistake. That's that's how she gets you with the goo needles. Yeah, with the goo needles. Was she gooey? Like, oh. was, oh. was, was this the? Is this how they got the idea for Gooigi? They watched X Files. <laughs> watching like, yeah. X Files. A goo character? Yes. A goo clone? <laughs> yes. Yes. A lady goo clone. A lady goo clone. Man, X Files. That's a show. Yeah, it uh, it gave me uh many a bad dream as a child. This. This I one, the most bad could dream. imagine. Do you ever just go through and read the um, Netflix plot synopsis of of the episodes? I have not. Of X Files, they are wild. <laughs> I've watched a few of them as an adult, and their season one and two are very funny. Now, as a as a full adult who understands that there are no goo ladies that can come out of the drain and kill me, <laughs> yeah. it's very funny. There's one Maybe. episode, and I've spoken about this so many times, but I just love it so much, of the uh, Lady Bigfoot that Mulder stumbles into. Uh, he stumbles into a drawing of Lady Bigfoot, and he's like, yes, this is the evidence I need to convince Scully. And it's literally a drawing of Bigfoot with some boobs on it. <laughs> and he's like, what if... Bigfoot, but lady. What if, what if lady? No one expects a lady Bigfoot. And it just like cuts to <laughs> Scully and she's basically doing a face palm because she cannot believe that this is actually happening, much like the viewer. So here's all <laughs> the, the needles uh. that are coming out of the drain holes because the old needle lady is down there. <laughs> the old needle lady. <laughs> As we call her. As we call her. Uh, so this is sort of like a cross section mm -hmm. of the shower. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna shrink this. Mm -hmm. Oh, to show to show the old what lurks lady. beneath. <laughs> yeah. So like, this is like your shower situation. And mm -hmm. then down here is gonna be old old needle lady. I feel She's like gonna have a face like this. If if we went with our. Um, <laughs> Uh, our, our proposed uh, alternate jobs, mm -hmm. Jacob, you would be running into a lot of these characters living in the, the walls yeah. and vents. You would become one of them. Yeah, you would, I, I you would, would definitely one of them. You would meet Mr. Finkel and the needle <laughs> lady for sure. And maybe they're not like so bad. Yeah, no, maybe be friends. Maybe they had YouTube channels and got <laughs> laid off and had to make do. It could be, you know. And, I you mean, know, I don't, don't want to be one to judge. Like, I didn't even consider stuff. trying to become made out of goo. Like, that wasn't a career option I was considering. But now, doesn't sound so bad. Since you put Kinda the sparkles rocks. on it, it looks like she's showing off her nails. Yeah, she just. <laughs> I got my nails she's done. Like, my <laughs> Aren't nails. they nice? <laughs> she want. She just wants a friend to share her nails with, and everybody's so afraid. Of the shower drain. <laughs> Everyone's so afraid of old needle lady down here. 
I'm up on that trend of those those clawy nails. You see this? <laughs> this is in vogue. Yeah, she's down here with her claw nails are very cool. But yeah, imagine if they just kept going and became needles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> old lady, she's got like one of these like sort of big old lady hairs. It's Marge like, Simpson, like you know, Marge, like a, like a spooky old lady, sort of like a spooky Marge Simpson. Yeah, kind of like a spooky <laughs> Marge. <laughs> Or that, that lady from She's the like Rocky really Horror. Wet. Or Ghost what? Trick. <laughs> Isn't there a lady in Rocky Horror who's got kind of hair like that? You're thinking of oh. uh, Marge Simpson. I'm thinking, of, <laughs> I'm thinking of my favorite character from Rocky Horror, Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson <laughs> played by Susan Sarandon. Um, the song's going all the way around. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's all noodly. Yeah, it's all noodly. Ooh. Man, it's pretty spacious in the drains. Yeah, she's just got on like a little bathing suit. Yeah. Nice. And she's going to be like clammy <laughs> because there's, it's always wet. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be a nightmare for your skin. Yeah, I feel always like... wet skin. <laughs> this looks like a political cartoon. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you need to add some labels. Yeah, this feels like a political cartoon for like a local election. But I don't, <laughs> I don't understand really any get. of the references. Yeah. But like, if you're from like Hackensack and you're following the local like city council race and you saw this, you're like, oh, they got her. They really got her. This time. <laughs> oh, kind of like a sewer witch, isn't she? With her needle fingers. Yeah, with her little needle fingers. Yeah, the lady is big government. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get at your at your little feet. Yeah, your little piggies, your little toes. Uh, this drawing feels very incomplete, <laughs> but I don't really have anything else to add. It's just the composition. She's just, yeah. in, the, she's just in the drain. She can have her sticking her leg up. That'll even out the oh, composition. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We should have one. <laughs> one doing one little kick out. Yeah, one little leggy. Yeah, you got to stretch. I mean, if you're living in the drain, yeah. and I mean, you don't need to hear it from me if you're already living in the drain, because you know. <laughs> you know. But if you're planning on it, I would recommend making sure you find uh, enough time to stretch every day, because you will cramp up. 2020 is the year on. of taking care of your body. Yeah. Let's do a posture check. Let's do a leg stretch or two. Stretch yeah. both of them legs. Yeah, if you're watching this, even if you're not living in a drain, yeah. I think uh, do a little stretch. <laughs> whatever whatever you're doing, whatever you've got, you're working on while you've got this video playing, because let's be honest, you're not just... You're not just watching this. You've got something yeah. else going on. Yeah. Um, take a call these, out. She got these new, these brand new boots because she gets paid by the government. Oh. oh. She's <laughs> sitting over here on her sacks of cash. Oh, and then the 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 uh, the caption is now that's what I call a government kickback. Hey. Yeah. Because she's doing a little kick. Yeah. And Julia is a hardworking taxpayer, just trying yeah. to. Yeah, Julia is the taxpayer. <laughs> just trying to <laughs> take a shower. Well, apparently my childhood fear yeah, was political shower? cartoons. Uh, I mean, that's all of us. This is government kick kickbacks. What I was saying was, um, take a break, take yeah. a stretch right now. We'll yeah. wait. Stretch your leg out. Point those toes if you can. Point yeah. those toes. And it, only if you can, you know, don't only if you can. Don't push yourself too for just a nice, a, a good stretch. Baby steps, whatever you can do. The bad candidate. This one's the bad candidate that you don't <laughs> that you don't like. <laughs> um, is, uh, you know, if Drawfee doesn't work out, we can always uh, <laughs> we can always <laughs> get. Get jobs as political cartoonists for Star, your stars and bars. What happened to my childhood here? Publication. <laughs> That's a bunch of A's. <laughs> ah, ah, America. <laughs> That's a mood. Ah, this America. is your fear. Yeah. Crying Statue of Liberty. I, think I got it. <laughs> yeah. I think I got it really good. Great. <laughs> um, I'm done. I'm probably done drawing, maybe forever. That's nice, Jacob. <laughs> Julia, you come draw now. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we record two of these a day. I, I wonder if it's obvious which ones are <laughs> recorded first and which ones are recorded second based on our Well, they're going to know our temperaments. This second now. <laughs> you made it too obvious now. 
It's, it's me. It's you. And you draw in my hyper specific childhood fear. I'm drawing your hyper specific Wow. Fear. So, <laughs> as a kid, uh-huh. um, I had this thing in my room on my bedside table called a Santo Nino statue. Okay. It's a Filipino thing. It's like an ornate baby Jesus. Okay. And I had a nightmare once that it came to life and it would chase me around and it chased <laughs> me up a tree and I was scared of it ever since. So okay. it's like a fly little baby Jesus chasing yeah. you around? Yeah. Specifically um, in the dream, it was sitting on like a stool that I had and the stool would be running. <laughs> And the baby Jesus would just be the menacing. The stool is running and it sits on the stool. <laughs> yeah. And it chased me up a tree in my front yard. <laughs> Man, why couldn't I have drawn this one? This one's perfect for me to draw. Yeah. That's I would true. love to draw a little fat baby Jesus on a running stool. <laughs> well, you can do a fan art of it later. I'm going to do fan art. Everyone do fan art of my <laughs> Santo Nino nightmare, please. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Hashtag my Santo Nino nightmare on Twitter is going to be tw- twending. <laughs> twending. It's going to be twending on Twitter. <laughs> Look out for it. Julia's always drawing Karina like up, up, in up something. something. Up in something. <laughs> it's okay. where she belongs. Yeah. I used to climb a lot of trees when I was a kid. It is where I belong. I should have never come down oh, and yeah. joined society. It's nice up there. There was a magnolia tree in my neighbor's front yard that I would climb all the time. And I would get very high up in there. And I don't think it was probably safe for me to be up there. Yeah, I don't think. But I would do it. Because that's what like me and my brother and like our neighborhood friend would do but i never made it that high up in the tree because i was like it doesn't look safe (laughs) yeah i don't know how you climb a tree like this one where there's just like no branches (laughs) near the ground uh adrenaline because (laughs) fear you do like a cartoon scramble up there just yeah (laughs) you know like (laughs) <laughs> when you're being chased by a little baby Jesus on a stool, like you can do anything. There's so much adrenaline pumping through your veins. I could probably lift a car. <laughs> to save yourself yeah. from a baby Jesus. So he's an ornate baby Jesus. Yeah, he's wearing like a little cape, got a little like hat. <laughs> he's got a little hat. Cape. Nice. He's got a little fit. <laughs> Got a little hat. It's a fashionable baby. <laughs> I think the yeah. real baby Jesus was notably unfashionable, being born in a manger. That's true. <laughs> What'd they spend all that gold on? It's time to remember the reason for the season. <laughs> oh. It is the season. It's, uh, February. <laughs> February, whatever. Saint Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. These days, Santo Nino is all about the capes and the hats. <laughs> to be fair, I think there is a festival for Santo Nino, but it was in January, I think. I'm not sure. I don't celebrate Santo Nino. I'm scared of him. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared of because it was like a wooden statue, and I was like so scared of it after I had this nightmare that I like took it off my bedside table and shoved it in my closet. And I like kept it there for years. Wow. And like its head fell off. It could just grow in power. <laughs> yeah, I think. Unseen. It, <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. I was so scared of it. I I'm was so scared, scared it, it would come to life and chase me. <laughs> I do think that if we wanted a real creepy baby, Julia was the correct uh, yeah. person to draw this. Jacob would have drawn like a real funny one. <laughs> yeah. This one is upsetting. <laughs> you made it like very long. Yeah, it's a long. <laughs> it's the size of like an adult. Big baby. <laughs> Karina is tiny compared to this baby. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is like those Renaissance paintings where we're not sure what a baby looks like. <laughs> yeah. It has to have a, a grown just, man's face. Yeah, it's just a small adult, right? We're doing our best <laughs> guess. We've never seen a baby. It's been a while since I've read Captain Underpants, but they've taken it some weird directions. Yeah. It's like. Um, what kind of hat does this, this baby wear? It's kind of like a little Pope hat. A little Pope hat. 
That's a big that's pope a hat. Big pope <laughs> hat. That's a chef hat. That's that hat <laughs> is bigger uh, than me. Yeah. This is super chef. That's Marge Simpson again. <laughs> that one's Marge Simpson. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever seen a pope yeah. hat? No. Like I'm <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure. <laughs> just wants to share <laughs> what his is this? with you. <laughs> no. Like, Come on! Once you pop, you won't stop. I promise. You can stack them the different flavors if you mix pizza and uh, nachos. Like I'm not even sure if this is even what the statue was. It's just like the closest thing I could approximate because I like got rid of that statue. I was very scared of it. Well into like. <laughs> <laughs> my late childhood so i'm just like i think this is what it was you know based on research but do you wish you could see it me. now like do you wish you could have it i mean no i wouldn't want it to confront it no. to confront it well too bad look who we invited <laughs> onto the show come ah! on in here santa Nino. <laughs> no trees to save you now <laughs> <laughs> There's a tree right outside the window. It's just Willie dressed like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> Willie would make a great Santo Nino. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. And probably last. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it starts twending on Twitter. Twending. <laughs> <laughs> Are I got to bling up this like baby. Bracelets? Yeah. What's yeah. going on with the hat? It's got a lot of just accoutrement on it. It's just a, <laughs> a cylinder with. It's it's yeah. one of them um, this is a hat. toilet paper rolls that they added some stuff to. What yeah. is that? It's got a little. It's That's, got a little bit of those feathers at the top. There's like a pearl necklace attached to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This baby is scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for the stool that moves. The stool yes. what move? Um. Okay. There you yeah. go. Like, I think you could probably guess what the stool should look like, but I'm excited to see what Julia makes it look like. We here's where we learn that Julia has never seen a stool. <laughs> Julia, that's an egg. <laughs> Julia draws. Why did a, he get closer? A perfect machamp. <laughs> it looks Instead. like he's just levitating upwards towards you with arms spread. That's scary. With arms wide open. I was open. just about to start singing that. <laughs> that's what that song was about. It's about Karina's dream. Under the big tree. It's about the baby Jesus statue that chased me up the tree. It chased and you. And floated towards me. It chased oh. you and Scott Stapp up a tree. Yeah. Scott Stapp is also in that tree. Yeah, you just can't see him because he climbed up higher than yeah, I could. He got up way higher. Got some, some little Nemo-ass legs going on yeah. oh. you're covering his entire dicey <laughs> See, in my dream in my dream the legs were not little nemo long legs so so this is I, different i would like go up the tree and it would just be at the bottom jumping at me <laughs> like a small dog yeah <laughs> amazing is this a recurring dream you had no, or I just, just had it once and it one, like one traumatized me. Wow. <laughs> it changed how I viewed that thing forever. <laughs> this is kind of beautiful. Yeah, this is yeah. this is very whimsical. This feels yeah, like Yeah, but it's much scarier than what This feels very like spirited away. Yeah. <laughs> Santo Nino comes and like <laughs> enslaves me. <laughs> he takes your name. He brings you back to his kingdom of babies. <laughs> And you become the queen. <laughs> no. And also, sorry, you have to. Your parents are pigs now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, your no. parents are also pigs now. I think. I think this is done. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you've I'm definitely okay with it being done. This is done. It. This is spooky. You've done it this time. This Santo Nino has way too much reach. Like. It could just get me. I mean, yeah. that's the scariest part. Is yeah. you don't know how how far this thing can reach. Can no, reach I can see how far reach, it can though. reach. It's just not doing it. It's not doing and it. And that's the scariest worse. thing of all. It's playing with his food. Because it's like, what does it even want? <laughs> it just wants. It likes the chase. Yeah, it could yeah. get you at any time, but it's not. No. <laughs> the most dangerous holy game. Jesus coming at you. <laughs> Baby Jesus. Baby yeah. Jesus coming Baby at you. Baby Jesus. He chilled out when he grew up, but as a baby, he was a real menace. Yeah. 
That rebellious stage. Got in the <laughs> rebellious really. baby stage. A rebellious baby stage. The terrible stage. twos. <laughs> All right. I'm donezo. Okay. That Where means it's in? Karina's time to draw Nathan's. My fears. Greatest childhood fear of all time. So I have two for you to choose from, or you can combine them. Oh, God. Uh, your choice, dealer's choice. Okay. Um, so the first one, sort of very standard. Uh, I was a big, big into animals as a child. Mm -hmm. And so what scared me was the idea that there were venomous animals. That just like the concept. Yeah, just the concept of like it's not that it's gonna eat you, it's that it can bite you once and you can get away and still die. Yeah. Mm. I mean that is just such a scary concept. Yeah. Yeah, that's scary. Uh <laughs> the other thing was um my parents had a print of the the famous painting, the girl with the pearl earring. <laughs> girl with the pearl. And um they kept it in our family's guest room, which was, and unless we had guests in there, it was always just dark. Uh -huh. And something about seeing that woman's face <laughs> staring at me out from the dark, <laughs> I was terrified of going in that room with the painting of the the girl with the pearl earring. No, oh, that's a childhood fear. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> just make her poisonous. Yeah, venomous. Yeah, there's a difference. I'm Jacob. sorry. Poison is ingested, Idiot. venom is injected. Shut up. Shut up right now. <laughs> and don't you ever speak to me again. <laughs> I'm gonna inject some venom into you in a second. Don't. I was venomous yeah, the whole time. And the thing about that painting, I don't know if you if you can like off the top of your head conjure I, an image. I, know I do what it remember looks like. what it looks like. She's got like a towel on yeah. her head. And my mom would do that with the towel whenever she took a shower. Yeah, that's just a normal yeah. thing. Every, it, but, every mom. But because of, every mom does that. But because that. of the painting, I it it would remind me of the painting, and it would scare me also. So the, I had stuff like that. Like, I was scared of... If anyone's seen the movie Bed Noms and Broomsticks. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a scene where the witch... Uh, reanimates some medieval armors from the museum and has them attack the Nazis. The Nazis, yeah. Yeah, but the reanimated armors are like, they're, they're animated so that it looks like people are in them. Mm -hmm. And they're also like Gregorian chanting at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're marching up this dark, foggy field to attack the Nazis and no one can kill them because they're not alive. Right. And it was absolutely terrifying to me as a child so i saw as a, a teen one of the last harry potter movies where uh, mcgonagall reanimates the statues of hogwarts to defend the school mm -hmm. and it reminded me of that and i was immediately terrified oh like as as a teen yeah it brought back like how scared i was of these stupid medieval <laughs> armors from ben Dobbs and broomsticks Man, kids are like so dumb. Yeah, <laughs> we don't we don't think, know what to be scared of. I'm it's trying to think of like what media scared me as a kid, and I was like, I remember being really scared of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Sure, <laughs> that's supposed to be scary. Yeah, but like very scared. I mean, we've we've talked about Don Bluth films on the on the program before, but that whole <laughs> that whole aesthetic that was like a a scare that I that I sought out. I would be like, I'm not going to be Don scared. Bluth. Yeah, <laughs> come at me, Don. Those movies, <laughs> those movies are terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and there was one time. Dark I, Disney. I thought it was funny. I don't, I don't know what this painting looks like. The last time I saw it, it's because Julia was drawing it, but it was Kermit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny when Julia was telling her story because I was like, you just did that. Like your parents tried to protect you. My dad took me to see the mummy when I was six because he wanted to see it. And he's like, yeah, I'll just take the kids to the theater. And I had nightmares for weeks about the scarabs. I don't remember anything else about the mummy. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a great movie, but it scared me too much as a kid. It scared me too. And I was older than you by however many years I'm older than you by. I liked the mummy animated series that they had on Kids WB. Cool. I didn't see that. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
I, I do love the that. movie though. Oh, she have fangs. Yeah. <laughs> With venom. <laughs> oh. All oh, is that all me? Yeah, I'm just gonna give you a beard. Yeah. <laughs> it's been established in canon that childhood Nathan just had a smaller uh, beard. A little be- Maybe I would have had more friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little beard boy. <laughs> the bearded boy. The bearded boy. Oh, oh, yeah, come. You look exactly the same. Gaze upon his bearded visage. Yeah, I'll give you like baby eyes. Give me baby eyes. Yeah, baby him up. I'm baby. Oh. Nathan is baby now. Oh. oh, he's so scared. I'm a scared. I'm a scared of the painting. Eventually, my parents um got put that painting away and instead put up a picture of Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. And and that was less scary. That one didn't bother. That you. one did not bother me. Donald Jeez. Duck. Um. Welcome to our little angel views your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> okay, I regret that immediately. What We're going to be using this computer this. a lot, so these are You're these are our, used to our warm ups. Yeah, yeah. I'll get used to it in time, but oh, right now, yeah, Karina. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh my God, that's the stuff we. This is for. important. This is the realest. This is the realest <laughs> interpretation. I feel like of any. God. Oh, just the pearl in uh, the eye. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nathan's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. This is gonna go. My childhood <laughs> thing, but worse. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. So you get to as well. This is wild. This is really making me feel things, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought I was over this. <laughs> Something deep and primal <laughs> inside me has been awakened, and I feel like I need to run. <laughs> you can never run far enough from your own mind. The eyes follow you is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is artistic. This is composition. Yeah. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. It feels very dreamlike. Oh, yeah, I get a door frame in there. We're gonna yeah. need that yeah. for sure. Yeah, important. <laughs> That's definitely. You haven't door. been to my house, right? <laughs> Is this your? You have a door at your house. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty scary, but it's not as scary as Large Marge from Pee Wee's Big Adventure, <laughs> which was the decided number one scary thing a child can experience. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So this could be All number two. Children. Yeah. But large Marge is number one. There. Yeah. You gazing upon the girl with the pearl earring, but she's venomous. She's going to bite me. If you go into that room, she's going to bite you. Um, I'm just going to put a chair in here. It feels like there needs to be like. <laughs> yeah, it's a guest room. So <laughs> Guest rooms have chairs. Guests need to sit. We yeah. Had, it, had, um, a bed. it had a Murphy bed. A Murphy Brown. It's a, one of those beds that what folds up. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know they just had a normal name. I think it. We called it a Murphy bed. I think it is. It name. is called a Murphy bed. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. I just okay. Good. Don't know things. Yeah. Well, you don't need to know that thing. She's, She's just like, important. come in, have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> trying to talk. tempt you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to retake Furniture. biology. <laughs> <laughs> And where's your pants, bud? Yeah. Oh. Your teeth might fall out, but oh, hers yeah. won't. We did dreams and uh, <laughs> fears, yeah. and fears back to back. Oh, no, now you know which episodes we recorded back to back. The secret come out. There you go. Wow. There's no door in this door frame. No. No. You have to always no, see it. No, op- it. it could open in. It could be opened in. It could be yeah, opened it's in. opened all the way in. Yeah. It could be a pocket door. It could be a pocket door. It could be a pocket <laughs> door. Oh, yeah. Well, well here's them... your fear. Thank you. Uh, you really did it. Um, <laughs> Are I... you uncomfortable? Yeah, I'm, I'm shaken by this. Someone else needs to end the episode. Well, <laughs> we done here. Thanks for watching Drawfee's program, Drawfee's yes. famous internet program. <laughs> if you liked it, you could do a subscribe on it. You could do a little a thumb up. Uh-huh. You can hit that bell. That does something, <laughs> I've been told. There's a lot of things you can click on this page. I recommend <laughs> click them all, except the down thumb. Don't click that one. No. Yeah. 
Um, we're we're still working out some channel kinks. We'll update everyone once we have new information on what's going on with us. That's it. We're sorry. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>